Is there a global fascist movement behind Donald Trump? Sarah Kedzier thinks so. Check this out. Leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. I mentioned in the previous hour that, uh, you know, all this right-wing media is talking about, you know, Rush Limbaugh yesterday, oh, it's the chickification of America, Daily Caller talking about the sissification, basically, uh, you know, uh, Democrats are sissies. They don't. They want. They want to wear masks. They want to hide. They're. They're. They're like scared little girls. This is the new meme that they're promoting in right wing media. And of course, it's going to kill a bunch of people. But you know, that doesn't matter. Um, over on Reddit, this this was floating all over the internet a week or so ago, and it's 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 worth. It's worth sharing. It's uh, the, the, the original person who posted it on Reddit uh, was called Sty in your eye, S-T-Y in your eye. Um, and he said, you don't get it. I live in Trump country in the Ozarks in southern Missouri, one of the last places where the Klan still has a relatively strong established presence. They don't give a damn what he does. He's just something to rally around and hate liberals. That's it, period. If you keep getting caught up in why do they not realize blah, 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 and how can they still back him, blah, 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 you are not understanding what is the underlying motivating factor of his support. It's screwing liberals, owning liberals. That's pretty much it. Have you noticed you can do pretty much anything imaginable and they'll explain some way that rationalizes it that makes zero logical sense? Because they're not even keeping track of any logical narrative. It's irrelevant. Owning liberals is the only relevant thing. Trust me, I know firsthand what I'm talking about. He says, look at the thing with not wearing the mask. I can tell you what that's about. It's about exposing fear. They're playing chicken with nature. And whoever flinches just moved down their internal pecking order one step closer to being a liberal. You got to understand the one core value that they hold above all others is hatred for what they consider weakness. Because that's what they believe strength is. Hatred for weakness. And I mean passionate, sadistic hatred. And I'm not exaggerating. Believe me, sadistic, passionate hatred. And that's, what's, that's what they think proves that they're strong. They're passionate hatred for weakness. Sometimes they lump in vulnerability, a compromised circumstance, or an overwhelming circumstance in with their weakness, too, because people tend to start humbling themselves when they're in those circumstances. And that's an obvious sign of weakness. Kindness equals weakness. Honesty equals weakness. Compromise equals weakness. They consider their very existence to be superior in every way to anyone who doesn't hate weakness as much as they do. They consider liberals to be weak people who are inferior, almost a different species. And the fact that liberals are so weak is why they have to unite in large numbers, which they find disgusting, but it's that disgust that is the true expression of their natural superiority. He wraps it up. He says, go ahead and try to have a logical, rational conversation with them, though. Just keep in mind what I said here and think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, this, this is what's going on. It's amazing. Andrew in London, Ontario, Canada. Hey, Andrew, what's up? Hi, Tom. I just wondered if you've ever heard of the International Democrat Union. Democrat they or Democratic? It's called the International Democrat Union, quite Never purposely, heard of, of course. Yeah, they are an organization of uh, conservative parties around the world who coordinate and work together to elect conservatives in countries around the world. And uh, hmm. they are run by Stephen Harper, former prime minister of Canada. And mm -hmm. uh, member states include the Republicans. Uh, Boris Johnson's conservatives, Modi's, uh, BJP, uh, Morrison in Australia, Netanyahu's Likud party. Um, and they are wow. coordinating. They are the reason that this division, this Trumpism is on the rise. They are the ones that are promoting it. And they have mainlined it to almost 80 countries in the world where they operate. Uh, Wow. Bolsonaro is one of them. Um, this is an all-out assault on democracy, Andrew, if, if what is you're describing global, is accurate. It is a global fascist movement. And, do they have a website? Uh, yes, they do. And they're on Twitter at IDU Alliance. 
Mm-hmm. And their goal is to promote, uh, well, they say their goal is to promote conservatism around the world and conservative ideals. But really what they're doing is assaulting democracy in every country that they can get a foothold. And Trump is not an aberration. He is a member, you know, the Republican Party oh, he's is a, role a member model. of... Yes, exactly. He is exactly like Boris Johnson, if you notice, uh, who Boris Johnson once suggested herd immunity at the start, but they have such a strong public health program in the UK that he couldn't get away with it the way that Trump does in America. Yeah. Trump is basically... Well, they, they were watching immunity. the National Health Service melt down in some communities that were getting you know high levels of infection, and that produced such a backlash that Johnson had to back down. Yes, exactly. And, uh, I don't see it, that happening in India. Well, India's uh, hurting just as bad as uh, Brazil. Uh, they're on the rise yep. as well. And, I know. Um, I know. Like the, Amazing. Uh, really- Andrew, Andrew, thanks for the heads up on that. I'm sorry, we're hitting a break here. i got to wrap this up. But uh, the International Democrat Union, you said? Yeah, IDU? 100%. Okay, yeah. I, will, I will do my homework on this. Andrew, thanks.